Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophy at the Babbling Belgian and welcome back to Fallout 4 Survival. And uh, we're still on the Bridwin. Still on the Bridwin after we uh, had our harrowing mission on uh, Fort Strong where we took it back from the Super Mutants. Almost getting ourselves killed multiple times, but uh, we managed to pull out okay. So uh, today we're going to talk to Elder Maxon to see what else we can do for the Brotherhood of Steel. Because, I mean, he might be a bit of a dick, but he gave us a lot of uh, fancy toys for now, so maybe he can give us a few more. So, hello, Elder Maxon. Outstanding work at Fort Strong, soldier. Uh, thank you. It was a piece of cake. I'm glad you feel that way. Because it only gets more difficult from here. I hope In not. In order to bring the Institute to its knees, we need to use every weapon at our disposal. I try to supply my soldiers with the best. That's why I'm giving you these. This sounds Same good. Can call there we go. To your location when you need aerial transport. Simply throw one to the ground, and the vertebrate will hone in on the unique electromagnetic smoke it emits. Once you're aboard, use the map on your pit boy to interface with the pilot's navigation system, so he'll be able to take you wherever you need. And there we go. That's exactly what we need. Since we don't have fast travel, the next best thing is transport via vertibird. So from now on, we kind of have a sort of faster travel where we can spawn a vertibird anywhere we are and that will bring us to anywhere we want to go. So uh, how could we get more grenades though? Where can I get more signal grenades? I'd use the supply I gave you sparingly. These devices are far more complex than a standard smoke grenade. Should you need more, you should acquire them from Proctor Teagan. There we go. So Deegan can help us with more. So uh, thank you, Elder Maxon. I'm sure you're aware that Fort Strong was simply the first. And there we go. Show no mercy completed. Still no idiot savant. Stick. By now, I'm sure you've deduced that our arrival in the Commonwealth wasn't coincidental. We're here because of a unique energy reading recorded by Paladin Dance's recon team, according to our scribes. The reading indicated a level of technology that only the Institute could achieve. The moment this information came to light. Our mission became clear. The Institute, and everyone responsible for the creation of the Synths, must be eliminated at all costs. To accomplish this goal, we need to locate the Institute's headquarters. I've had our scribes meticulously searching the Commonwealth, but they've come up empty-handed. So there we go, the Brotherhood's main goal is to destroy the Institute, we kind of knew that already, but now they know that the Institute is probably located somewhere in the Commonwealth, and they want to just kill everybody. Um, it's not really nuanced, but uh, where do we start? Where do I start? I want you to get out there and become our eyes and ears on the ground. You seem to have a vested interest in locating the Institute before we met, so I'm confident you'll travel in the right circles. If you discover a way in, I need you to report it to me immediately. Any questions, Knight? So that basically stops the main quest for now, since we need to find more uh, information regarding the Institute. We can do so in the main quest, where we can continue to talk to uh, Nick Valentine as well, since that will push us forward in our investigation, probably leading us to the railroad next, if I recall correctly. So, but instead... Aren't there any pre-war records about the Institute that might help us? Our records indicate that the Institute was born from the remnants of a pre-war educational facility the Commonwealth Institute of Technology. The ruins of the facility are at the center of the city, but we've already searched them thoroughly. The location appears to have been abandoned long ago, so it appears that the trail ends there. Anything else, Knight? Well, if you know what we know after we've uh, played the game a bit further, we, we, they should actually investigate that place a bit further, but uh, no questions. Not right now, Elder. And there we go, that's basically it. But now we have fast travel using vertibirds, which is really, really cool. I'm just gonna quickly drop in with uh, Proctor Teagan to give him the uh, technical documents. The signal grenades do weigh one each, so I'm gonna be sparingly carrying those around, because I think if I have three of them, that should be enough most of the time. Uh, and we can get more from the Bridwin whenever we need. So, let's continue along. Uh, I don't really need the Bridwin for now. Uh, we're gonna use those vertibirds soon, but first, I wanna just uh, be a badass and jump all the way down. There we go, because power armor, even on survival, negates any fall damage. So that is... Re uh, I shouldn't be sprinting, I waste my fusion cores that way. But, I'm gonna first drop off all my materials, because we've uh, collected quite a bit of junk in our uh, recent missions. And I'm just gonna dump that into the workstation over here, because this right outside here counts as a settlement. Which I'm pretty sure, because the Pridwin doesn't, but this right here... 
should actually count as a settlement. So there's a workbench over here. And if I just jump, dump all my stuff in there, I should be able to get that later on back. There we go. Store all of that. That seems a bit light, but I think I can actually get rid of a bit, few bits of ammo. There we go. At least I dropped off uh, about 50 pounds of junk. Now, we are actually pretty close by a few other things bits and pieces of the map so those are that's basically boston central uh but since we are on this little uh, peninsula we can't really reach that straight away but i think today we're gonna do just do some exploring look around what we can find we're pretty close to the bridwin so if we need backup we can always head back but uh, for now i think we should be fine we have our power armor we have uh, a few nice weapons and uh, we're set to explore around a bit and the first building we bump into is the Robco Sales and Service Center. Might as well take a look in here, because I'm not actually sure if I ever explored this thing. Getting in. I'm supposing this place will be overrun with um, robots, although it seems to be quiet for now. Um, and this shouldn't actually be that big of a building if I'm looking at this correctly. There are robot parts strewn around. But not exactly sure. So there's terminals over here. Hmm. On this terminal, there were just four folders that we couldn't access in any way. Mom, dad, and two children. This is interesting, because I do like a little bit of a story in uh, these... Uh, well, Bethesda is really good at making these stories that you can just infer from the building itself, from the environment itself. And there's a few terminals here that might actually give us a few clues at what is going on here. And this terminal seems to be from someone higher up. There's a calendar, an itinerary, and a list of contacts. But for now, nothing we can really deduce of what is going on here. This seems to be just demo terminals for different types of uh, terminals. But this one also seems to be broken. So, okay. Makes sense. Let's check the one behind the counter. Because this is probably one of the more interesting ones it is blocked but we can hack it there we go got it in one try and there we go please remember that all employees are under a strict non-disclosure agreement violations will not be tolerated the first one in announcements is already very interesting there will be no tampering with any shipments labeled rb2851 i believe all employees are aware of what our typical shipments look like any so-called accidental openings of these shipments will not be tolerated and result in immediate intermination, followed by extensive questioning by our friends downstairs. Aha, uh -huh, so there were there was stuff coming in that wasn't really up to snuff. And this is basically the the terminal for the IT guy. But one of them had a problem with her computer not working because of a hack apparently by one of the ex-employees. You can also open up the save, which is good. So that should open up the save underneath and that gets us, aha, 44 rounds. That's exactly what we need. And then yeah, I'm gonna take the pre-war money because even on survival, that's one of the only items that actually doesn't weigh anything. And the plot thickens because the next door is actually booby-trapped. Don't know booby trapped with what effect, but I can't actually disarm that laser trip wire. I'm gonna keep my gun active because if uh, this place is dangerous enough to be booby trapped, there might be something worth protecting then. What is this? There's another terminal down there. So that might give us an idea of what is going on here, or what went down here. Because, of course, most of these stories are about what happened before the war. And there's not really something we can do about what happened. A broken terminal, but we can access it. Please verify that all necessary hardware and software is properly installed. Okay, so this one is broken. But for some reason it's broken and we can still access it. Mr. Handy Fuel is always nice. And there's an expert locked door back to the Commonwealth around here, but this is not the end of it, is it? And then in the back with the red light, it seems like it's just a hose or something like that, but it is marked as strange device. That's strange. Uh, okay. If I activate it, it blinks. I have no... This must be part of another quest. Huh. 
but I don't know what this this probably opens up this must be a wall that just that a door that can open up but that's an interesting first thing to, to investigate but we can't really do anything else here I'm not exactly sure I haven't done every quest in Fallout before but this doesn't even slightly ring a bell so I'm assuming we're gonna be bumping into that later on so let's back back outside and uh, continue our exploration tour a bit further along we find this little garage which apparently has um, a fancy chest in the back doesn't seem to be booby trapped so let's grab whatever we can use a marksman calibrated powerful sniper rifle I suppose um, I'm just gonna check that out because I'm, I'm assuming it's gonna be worse than what we already have marksman calibrated powerful sniper rifle Marksman's heavy sniper rifle. So it is better than the one where we have before us. But I think is the scope better? I don't know why the accuracy changes that much. I'm just gonna drop the one we've uh, been using for now. Because it's yeah, it's 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 worse. So and, and I can't take everything I want with me, sadly. Um I think that's rat poison, right? Rat poison is good, because rat poison actually has fiberglass. And we're gonna be needing fiberglass sooner rather than later when we start upgrading our armor so let's move on the lack of fast travel is actually really interesting because it forces you to walk around areas that you usually just warp out of because usually when i went to the Pridwin, i would just once i get back out again i would warp to anywhere i want to go to probably somewhere back in central boston which means that I barely discovered anything in this place. And there's a very fancy sign here. East Boston Preparatory School. This was a school before. I want to check out the school. Louise goes back to school. Ah, okay, we're still, uh, we're back at the Robot Raceway. That's why I hear things. This is cool. I, I never really saw the school buses here. I don't think I ever checked these buses around here that is really really cool they have yellow buses and it actually look pretty good for a nuke having been exploded right next to him doesn't seem like we can do anything with them though so i'm just moving along it also doesn't seem like they can actually enter the school might be mistaken but it looks like this is just an empty shell of a building although i should probably shut up there's creepy candles right next to the door I mean, why not, eh? Uh, East Boston Preparatory School. Okay, and that's not a good start. I see at least two corpses here. And there's definitely enemies inside. There is a bottle cap. Well, not a bottle cap mine, but uh, a lunchbox. I haven't actually made bottle cap mines just yet. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of corpses here. This is not good. I'm just gonna... Okay. Okay, so it's Raiders. That's good. Thank you, subtitles. Even on survival, you're really, really handy. Uh, okay. I hear them. But I'm guessing they're upstairs. You do? Hey, get into position. Okay, they're getting into position. Hello? What the fuck is going on here? What the hell is going on? They clearly expect me coming. And they're running around, but... What the hell? You hear about Corvega? Every raider in the place is taking a dirt nap. Jared included. Yes, that's I, I did that. Rumor is it was one tough-ass bride. There's no way that's true. About time someone wiped those bastards out. Damn straight. Okay, so I can't enter the room with the corpses, I think. So there's clearly a lot of them here. Uh, I'm first going to check out this room. Aha. So there's a rat roach here. Might as well use it to build up a critical. And that triggers all the radius. But I think they're all upstairs, so I don't really need to worry about that. They're really hey, waiting for me to come around. Ooh, there's a lot of them. There's, 
I think there's at least four or five, judging from the voices and the subtitles. Um, I'm gonna just use the stairs and see what we can do, because I think they're gonna all be funneled down... Oh no. Oh. That is... How the hell am I gonna get... I probably need to pass that barricade then. Because this has absolutely nothing, aside from some bubble gum and a, a coffee cup. Great. Not a single raider in sight. So they're just hiding upstairs, so I don't really need to care about them then. I don't see... Rat Roach? Oh! There it is! Oh, it, is that a glowing... It looks like a glowing one. Yeah, it's definitely a glowing Rat Roach. And we're going back into caution, but I'm assuming they uh, won't be able to get to me. Aha! There's a second set of stairs around the normal entrance of the building. There's also a door over here. But that one is chained. That's probably the the Skyrim door of the dungeon. Combat positions. Yes. Combat positions. Hello? I don't know. This is gonna be fun. Ow. What the? Where the hell did you... I was looking at the stairs. Goodbye. Annoy... Wait, did they come? Oh, they opened up that door, didn't they? Goodbye, and then one more shot to the face. Should take him out if we get him before he moves back behind the pillar. There we go. Where are they coming from? Blood contract. What the hell is a blood contract now? I have no idea what's going on. Let's check that blood contract. With my blood I do swear my life to the judge and his jury until the end, upon pain of torture and death. Okay... That's not weird at all. Yeah, I'm also having fun, but give me a second, because... We're definitely in danger again, but... Good for you! I mean, stop... You, you did? I didn't change... But, uh... Okay. That's a raider with a pool cue, though. Oh, um, what is your plan, basically? There we go. Don't need to waste extra, <laughs> extra action points on that. Just blast her in the face when she's up close. I tossed my last grenade, I think. Although I think I picked one up from one of the raiders. Um, wait, did I kill a second one by accident? Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Yeah, I'm ready to party. Hello. Disappearing act. <laughs> huh? Oh, there's still up. There's another level. There's definitely another level to this. Uh, that's another lunchbox with a giant bowl inside. Ah, oh God. What the hell just happened? Uh, was there a mine that I just didn't trip? Or what the hell was that? And they're, they're completely blind, by the way. They're just as blind as I am. Ooh, yeah, there's definitely mines around here. <laughs> I really need to be careful where I, uh, where I set my foot down. Oh, God. Uh, doggy, doggy, can you blow up? E, 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 e. I abused that mine, didn't I? I'm just gonna have to heal because I kind of blew that up a little bit too close to myself. There we go, I apparently wasn't properly fed either, so kind of took care of that immediately. And then we got mongrel no, dog meat in, in, in return, so... Hello? Playing games with me, huh? Not really, you're yelling in my ears. They were investigating mini nukes. Why did they booby trap their own area? I'm not gonna grab it because it's way too heavy. I think it weighs about five pounds. Only a fucking coward hides. No sign of them now. That's what I'm worried about. Hey, hey, let's go eat. I'm starving. You okay. can eat when I'm damn sure we're not about to get jumped. I got it. I got it. Jesus. Why are you always in such a bad mood? That's why I'm still alive, and since I gotta rely on your sorry ass to watch my back, that's why I'm trying to keep you alive, too. Enough yapping already. Somebody could be sneaking up on us right now. Don't get your panties in a twist. 
I'm going. <laughs> okay, so the, I love how they have their own dialogue in this area. Don't know if that's unique to the school, but they were clearly just talking to one another about potentially being sneaked up on. That's really cool. Oh, hi. Um, I'm just gonna blow your head off. Thank you. Goodbye. Just getting warmed up over here. <laughs> so there's clearly one up there. They got idiots of a high. Hi. Um, ow. Uh, Scaver can go with a hat shot. And then the psycho. Well, psychos aren't that bad. I might just go for torso shots. Two and two. Oh, he got the hit. That was bullshit. He shouldn't have gotten the hit in there. But yeah. So they all have that blood contract. Which is uh, making this even more interesting. Y you are? I think the other ones were also just getting started, but didn't really help. Is that soundproofing? What? Oh, wow. I didn't even know <laughs> Fallout 4 had that asset. There's actual soundproofing in here. Is that an overdue book? It is, but I'm not collecting those. I don't really have a use for those, so... This definitely was a school. Apparently with ammo in the desk. Seems very much American. Oh god! God damn it, there's more mines. Why can't I... Okay, for some reason... Oh, because I'm in the menu. I couldn't stealth anymore because I was in the menu. Everything's fine. I blew up again. This is bullshit. This is bullshit. It is. Hi. Um. Okay. He just did a magnet trick. Ma ma magic trick. I don't feel like the scope is making me better at aiming. Um. It does make me slightly better at. Okay. Are you gonna put your head in the same spot? He will. There he goes. I'm gonna run out of batteries sooner or later. Yeah, but it's definitely gonna be later. You're definitely gonna be dead way before I actually run out of batteries, buddy. There we go. Another one. He wants to go in the same position as his three other bodies who are... Well, basically piles of ash near the door over there. It, it isn't. It's just a normal... A normal raider, so I think this is your first gunfight. And I don't really have the patience for this, so... Games with me, huh? no, not really, you're not just... Oh, he died in a really sad way. I'm sorry, buddy. So, 308 rounds, always nice. I have a better sniper rifle now, so I might be able to use it. Run. And a fragmentation grenade. Yes. Okay. So what we know about these guys is that they like to come near the same doors. And they like to booby trap their own area for some reason. So the terminal just talks about their recruits. How they, uh, well, Stinky, Redfinger and Killer. And how they just tortured them until they signed the blood contract. So these guys aren't really here voluntarily. They were definitely forced into this. Let's see, we have more, ooh, 44 rounds. Definitely. Kellogg's gun, uh, Kellogg's pistol is going to be nice for that. Uh, there doesn't seem to be anything in the cell, but I might as well open it up. Because we might get extra experience, we don't. But we do get basically jackal. Nothing. Okay. Okay, and the second terminal, basically the same thing. So they lock up people until they decide to uh, sign the blood contract. Which is weird, but okay. There seems to be you no know, bigger cells, but nothing interesting. There's... Supposed to be one more raider around here, right? Because he was yelling at me. Yeah, that wasn't his first rodeo. The fuck was that? Good question. I don't know where the fuck he is. Um, we're still looking for the judge as well, because the notes indicated that there was somebody called the judge that was the leader of this place. And I'm just gathering more and more adhesive. Adhesive is always nice. You need adhesive for basically anything. Um, and there's another blast radius. Yes, indeed. Oh, there he is. Uh, it's a scaver. Where the hell is he going? Okay, slowly turning. A Are you gonna? Yeah, hello. Is that a shotgun? I'm just gonna have to do this then, because I don't like people firing at me with a shotgun. Does that mean there's another raider around here as well? Oh, there he is. Just torso shots for you, buddy. There we go. 
uh, a pipe sniper rifle he was using. Felt like something a lot bigger. If we go over here, what's here? More... Oh, Jesus! That was... I don't even know where the gun... Oh, the gun is right over there. Yeah. That completely missed me, though. So, the trip mine failed. And that's a combat shotgun. I have one of those. So, so that's fine. That kind of freaked me out a little bit. Uh, ooh! Astoundingly awesome tails. Right away heals 5% more radiation damage. I tried to not use right away because it's really, really bad for me on this difficulty. And the safe is advanced locked. Can we open that up? Because we picked up some keys. I don't think no. I can pick this. No. No. I'm, Louise does not have the lock picking skills to do this. I was hoping for a climactic boss battle against the judge. He sounded great, but there's definitely still somebody in the building. He might be on the toilet. Who knows? And then there's two mannequins with pumpkins on their heads pointing at some bubble gun in the toilet. Okay. Now I've seen everything. Ooh. What's this? How do I get in there? There's a hole over there on the left. I'm just gonna bump into every can I can. <laughs> um, and oh, this seems to be it. Ow! 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 Dick! What? Wait! What? Oh, he's firing from below me again, isn't he? You're a dick, and you deserve to die. That was not the judge, though. Tell me where the judge is. Okay, brackets are shuffling a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, <laughs> I, I love it sometimes when you're uh, going through a corpse, you hear the, the the inventory noise somewhere far away from you. Okay, so that's the, the chain door on the right as well. More 44 rounds though. That's good. It's always good. And this is a weapons workbench. And that opens that up. That's basically the school. So, but where is the leader to all of this? Where is the leader to all of this? I mean, there's a few corpses in the wheelchairs over here, but... Were they doing... Oh no, this is... Yeah, this is the, their training room. One of the other raiders was talking about this. That they were, uh... Oh. I think they were using this guy as target practice. Which is very sad, of course. But uh, nothing we can do about that now. There's still some fancy uh, microphones here as well. I'm on stage. Louise is going to be a star. So I slept for an hour because uh, I want to have a little bit of an autosave over here. After we've uh, now explored the Robco facility and the school. So next up, I need to check my hydration levels because I'm mildly dehydrated and it's turned red. So uh, better but still thirsty. Thirsty is a great level to be at because it doesn't really impact any of our... Uh, well, more important stats. So let's just jump all the way down and leave the school. So, that's the school. We cleared out another radar camp at least. I mean, it looked really cool, but it doesn't seem like it houses anything other than uh, just a radar camp. I mean, I, I was really looking forward with our confrontation against the judge, but uh, that didn't really happen. Now, we're heading towards one of the corners of the map, I think, no? Let me check the map for now to really see where we are. Yeah, we're basically at the outskirts of a map, but we've done a really good job of exploring this little bit of an island. Um, but if we cross the bridge and then cross the next bridge, we're actually pretty close to Cabot House. And that's basically the next thing I want to do. So let's go over there. I do love that even at night you kind of can see where Diamond City is because it's the, the bright glowing spot in the sky there. Um, yeah, let's move just along the banks because I don't want to... This looks really cool, by the way. I don't think I've ever explored these build things. Oh, there's the UFO. That's probably the first time I got a good look at it. That was really cool. And it exploded over there, so that kind of lands right next to Overland Station. Uh oh, blood bugs. Blood bugs, I hate bugs, and we're wide out in the open here. There we go. And then the other one is just gonna come in my direction, I suppose. A couple of shots at the torso, 50 50 shot. There we go. Just a couple of blood bugs. I don't care about any blood bugs, I only care about festering legendary. Rigmaroles. 
And they were just uh, harvesting that Brahmin corpse over there. So nothing too, too much to worry about. I do always worry about big... Ooh, what's that? Oh, we're right next to the ship. Oh. I do want to explore the ship as well, but... I think Cabot House is probably going to be closer first. Or not. Because this is the bridge. The boat seems to be right on the other side of the bridge. Yeah, I think we're going to definitely bump into the boat first and then Cabot House. But otherwise, I just saw a dog running past. And uh, yeah, there we go. Attack dog. Does it care about me? Well, it's red, so I might as well shoot it beforehand. Oh, wow. This thing has... Quite a lot of health. But I mean, I can still fire at him beforehand. I'm, I'm in danger, according to the game. But game, the dog is... Oh, God. The dog is dead. There's a radio over there. Um, hello? Oh, you have... You have quite a bit of health. I'm just going to fire at you from a distance. Okay. Still in danger. Are there more dogs? Oh, I hate to kill dogs like this. It's, oh, and they have dog armor and I don't have dog meat. It. Oh, God. Well, I, for a second, I thought that was going to be a rocket launcher firing at me, but it's just a gamma gun. He's probably going to mutate. Yep, there we go. Ow. And that does do quite a bit of damage, but it's a legendary normal raider. And I think I just got a critical of him. Just going to get my AP moving back. There he is. Um, there we go. Okay, that's a bit. I think he... She, because I think it's a she. Okay, that looks a bit weird, but never mind. Just going to get my AP back. There we go. And then we have... Oh, this is bad. I'm actually taking quite a bit of rads. Although, it wasn't that much, actually. That was fine. Legendary. Give me something good. Oh, the gun, of course. Exterminator's Gamma Gun. Does 50% more damage against Mirelurks and Bugs. Well, it doesn't weigh much, so might as well grab it to uh, get it with me. And .50 caliber. Interesting. Uh, and a bit of combat armor, actually. Hmm. Let's grab the 50 cal. And move towards the boat. Towards the boat. I want to move towards the boat. Because I, I I, must admit, I never did this quest. I know there's a quest, because I know there's a unique weapon that's found here, and we're detected, so that should indicate that these guys are relatively friendly. Hello? USS Constitution, so that's probably the name of the boat. Hi, hi. I'm just going to put my gun away. Hello, lookout. Scanning, scanning, accessing pre-war records. Record found. Driver's license, S913288682. Lawyer, ahoy there, citizen. You are hereby conscripted into the Congressional Army. Sounds great. Well, that's new. Pardon, madam. Regardless, the captain requests your presence on the bridge. Hunt the double quick, madam. Okay. This is interesting already. Meet the captain. How do I get... Um, Mr. Robot, Mr. Luca, but do... It landed on a bank. This is... Are those ArcJet engines, by the way? Those look like the exact same thing. Did somebody actually put those engines in beforehand? or Because I feel like the ship just crashed here after the, the nuke. It was tossed onto the building. And that those, ooh, more 50 cal. And that those engines were retrofitted afterwards. Yes, 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 scanning. So, aha, uh -huh. and then we have a staircase over there, getting us to the top level, right next to the probably highly radioactive ArcJet engine. And then around the round we go, and into the USS Constitution. Ooh, this looks actually really nice. We could go, oh, we can't. We can't go higher, apparently. This is the captain speaking. We're taking on an allied soldier. Clear the berth. Disable defenses. Make way. Okay, okay. Are, are they disabled? 
I think they are. I think they are. So let's go up. Oh, this looks awesome. Look at all of this. Where's the captain? Hey, Protectron, where's your captain? Stand down. Stand down, I say. Defending the Constitution. Please afford him all appropriate courtesies. Okay. How many levels does this thing have? It's huge. Overdue for maintenance. And they have different Un colors and identified intruder. Intruder. Mr. First Mate, this is the captain. This soldier is no intruder. Requesting permission to use lethal force. Please don't. Um m um cal calm down. Whoa, whoa. Easy there. Unable to comply. Stand down! I, Captain, standing down. Use the accent? What's he talking hey, about? Robot. Standing down. Is that the accent he was supposed to be using? Because it doesn't really sound like it. Okay. Um, Charlestown. Or do I wait, 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 wait. I feel like that's not where Ocean. It's an honor to crew such a story vessel. Okay. Um, that's a master lock door. Well, chaps, let's go upstairs. Now, don't we? To Charlestown. Okay, and now we're on top of the boat. The ship. I should probably call this a ship and not a boat. Is that... Is that... Is that a sentry bot with a... A pirate hat on? I think it is. This is... What the actual Ironsides? Captain. I'll have none of your lip, Mr. Navigator. Have the crow's nest scan two points off the port bow. Jump to it. Aye, Captain. Our soldier has arrived. I trust the first mate didn't give you too hard a time. Been too long since we've seen the Congressional Army. Um, um that, thank you, I suppose. That's a very friendly sentry bolt. Thanks for calling him off me. The scan shows you have the proper number of appendages still, so all is well. I am Captain Ironsides. Commander of the USS Constitution. You visit this fine vessel in trying times. Be calm these long years on her airy perch. Damn you, Weatherby Savings and Loan. I spit at you. Ah, uh, the bank. I'm assuming that's the bank. So yeah, um, quite a predicament indeed. That's quite a predicament. What vexes me most is my inability to assist in the war effort. My gun decks have not but more rats and ne'er do wells as targets. Enough pleasantries. The Constitution has systems that need repairs to carry out its mission. Uh, and it, is there a reward? If I help you, I expect part of the payment up front. What a singular request. Were you in the Navy, I would remind you of your oath. But as a soldier, I will authorize a performance bonus payable immediately. Consult with the ship's person. Consult with the bosun and Mr. Navigator. They will relay your instructions. Dismissed. Look lively, lads. Okay. Scavengers approach. Soldier, Ripple. man the cannons. Kill them only as a last resort. Whoa! Holy. Holy. Oh, God. Um, um, flip. 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 Oh god. Um um Fusion core removed. I'm helping by missing constantly. I am terrible at my job. Can I flip that thing again? Ah, oh, there we go. I'm shooting him in the leg, Captain! I am! I, I am kind of shooting him. Um, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to shoot him again. There we go. Are there more? I'm, I'm scared of falling out of the boat. I mean, he's not even taking cover again. I suck at this. Oh, God. Um, I'm gonna, can, I, can I use this again? Can I use this again? Flip. I don't... That doesn't seem to be doing much, is it? There we go. 
There we go, I still killed him one. I killed one. I'm glad Captain I could help. This is awesome. Holy crap. I can't believe I never did this mission before. This is cool. Okay, so now I need to talk to Mr. Navigator and the, the chap called Boson. So I'm first going to heal. I mean, I really like this quest already. So that's first mate. That's not Mr. Navigator, but that's Mr. Boson. I need to talk to you. Your very presence does this humble unit a great honor. My programming would find it amiss if I did not also interject. Long live the captain. Long live the captain indeed. Do you often just interject, as you put it? Indeed I do. I exclaim from exuberance, and not because I've been reprogrammed five times to wholeheartedly embrace these marvelous turns of phrase and anachronisms. My metal heart burns with a fierce love and affection for our captain. Huzzah! Okay, you were reprogrammed. Program eat? Programmed, I suppose. A lot. Why were you reprogrammed? Was the captain involved? You would have me speak ill of the captain. I would failed. sooner boil my own internal circuits and contemplate that. Let us speak of less treasonous matters. A Indeed, last person. Marine expedition valiantly returned with much needed supplies, including replacement power cables, madam. Alas, with my severe lack of appendages, I find myself unequal to the task of repairing the cables myself. Okay, then I'll I'll help. I'll get right on it. My anxiety emulators are lightning by the microsecond. Once you have resolved this matter, I beseech you to return to me. To accept my undying gratitude. What can we buy with your undying gratitude? Is that something I can use? Grab power cables. Okay. Crap. Three new power cables. There we go. Now we can actually fix them. That Open that up. And repair. The primary power cables powering many USS Constitution systems are badly frayed and damaged. Install new power cables. You replace the broken cable with a new power cable. There we go. Okay. That seems pretty easy. Where, where's Mr. Navigator, by the way? He might be outside. Repair, install new power cables. Ah, there we go. Okay. And now I needed to talk to Bozen again. Uh, but Bozen is on the next floor. And that's up there. By the way, I have a, I have a level up ready. I actually have two level ups ready because I forgot apparently from the last time again. I'm 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 a real idiot, am I? Um, we can't do gunslinger yet, so let's go and check out something else first. I think I'm gonna go into one more point into intelligence because we need to start moving towards science, which is intelligence six, and then otherwise we might get the second tier of rifleman maybe because we're gonna start moving over to rifles. Sooner rather than later, probably. So let's do Rifleman. I don't know why the combat music is playing. Why is the combat music playing? I, I don't know, but apparently it is. So let's just go upstairs and talk to Boson again. Hello, old chap. I fixed your power cables. Constitution's Again! Her systems long starved. Flick out to life. A hearty congratulation. Huzzah! However... This has brought to light further failures in our power grid. The power relay, to my shame, I previously complained about is fluctuating wildly. Okay, do I, uh, can, can, do I need to fix this? Don't worry, I'll get you up and running. Bully for you, madam. Power relay coils are a common enough part. Might I recommend checking the local shopkeeps? Surely, they would be of some assistance. Fair winds and following seeds. Power relay coils. Repair or buy a replacement power relay coil. How how do I wait? So I can go over there and try and fix this myself. Repair. Okay, so the voltage highly erratic power relay coils are relatively common and can probably be found in many salvage shops. A sufficiently skilled repairman may be able to repair the coil, but I can't. Don't know what skill I would need for that. So, we're back outside, and I don't know whether the... Yeah, there's definitely somebody downstairs that I can talk to. 
And it looks like they're actually coming up. Oh no, I think they are. Hello, Mr. Navigator. Hello. Soldier. Scavenger threat eliminated. Okay, glad it's over. Bizarre. Glad that's over. Guidance system offline. Multiple errors diagnosed. First error. Guidance chip stolen. This unit requires its return. Okay, so where did the... I'm assuming the scavengers actually took it, so tell me where they went. I just need to know where the chip is. Chip is with the thieves. Human scavengers. Reclaim chip at scavengers forward recon station. Captain has approved a bounty for its return. Lethal force is prohibited unless absolutely necessary. Aft thingy unlocked and available for your use, madam. Okay. Recover the guidance chip. That sounds like something I might be able to do right rather easily. Just need to jump over Mr. Navigator here. Um hmm. Is that now marked on my map? Yeah, recover the guidance ship is over there. And I'm well, I'm in need for a bed, so might as well use the bed from the scavengers that actually took all of that. Woo! I accidentally almost triggered a frag mine there, and there's more where that came from. So there we go. And there's another one over there, but... Aha. So this leads us inside of this house, but it's chained on the other side. Can we actually just... Can I start firing at this? Okay, they won't open up. Fair enough, so let's use the uh, other way around although there is like this little yeah we can actually move around over here i thought i needed to go all the way around but apparently not let's just go in here and Ma mandy styles that sounds like a pop singer hello mandy H how are you go shoot those assholes didn't attack the ship on our orders. They weren't trying to frag ya anyhow. They just wanted to kill the frickin' robots. What? Well, why? Well, well, I almost got killed. So, some of your guys almost got me killed. We told those crazy assholes not to attack. It's not our fault, all right? When they saw you waltz right into the Constitution, they just went ballistic. How did you get aboard anyway? We thought you were going to get cratered for sure. I mean, the captain's pretty friendly. Let's cut to the chase. The robot wants his guidance chip back. You know what he needs it for? His rockets. The huge goddamn rockets on the side of his boat. He's nuts. He sounds great. I'm sure there's a good reason he needs them. You seriously want to help that idiot bolts for brains Screw sure that robot and come to work with us we're gonna scrape everything on that ship and make a fortune we got a lot more friends nearby it's only a matter of time before we come out on top i'm not splitting my share with her you holding out on us davies you got some magical way in there this lady's got a free ticket aboard so shut up Help us destroy that freaking tin can once and for all. Hmm. Well, um, what? Well, do I need to decide now or can I just choose to? I need to think. I need to think about this. Don't take too long or we'll crack the Constitution open ourselves. And then you'll get nothing. Hmm. So this is actually a mission where you have a choice. I don't know why the game still thinks I'm in combat. It's probably just a little bit bugged. Can I actually get that... Uh... Huh? Hello? So this guy's probably going to be mad if I steal this. So there's the guidance chip. Um... Ooh, there's even a Nuka-Cola Quantum over here. Are these beds... Are there beds in here? Because I really need a bed. You know what, Mandy? I like Apnirocytes. I think I made up my mind. I think I made up my mind, Mandy. Um, uh, I, I, wait, do I need to repeat this dialogue? We already dealt this. So I've been attacked a lot by scavengers, and I don't want to help the scavengers. I'm going to help 
my lovely captain. No deal. I'm with Ironsides. Then screw you, asshole. You're lucky we don't gun you down. Y you're not? Wait. You're definitely not gonna gun me down. Is that... That's a very bad idea, lady. Because I'm, I'm just gonna... I'm, I'm, give, give me a second. See, down the chance of a lifetime see I found a lot of fragment. Okay, that was not what I wanted to do. <laughs> I didn't think that was gonna trigger immediately, but uh, let's heal that up rather nicely. Let's take a Nuka Cola Quantum. I kind of blew up my, my arm. I think I killed them. Are they now all mad at me? I'm assuming they are. Oh, wow. Okay, hi. Hello. Can you, can you hit him? Thank you. I'm just gonna go in here. That Shulgun did a nice flip. That was really cool. I really like the flip that Shulgun did. Huh? Wait, the last one is probably scared of me. Because I don't think he even had a gun. Wait. You're not? Is he? I think he went upstairs, but I just, I just need this. There we go. The guidance chip. Uh, I'm gonna take this as well, because this is a really nice Nuka-Cola Quantum. Do you want help or do you want to get shot? Because I... I mean, you're giving out very... Very co conflicting messages, buddy. There we go. Uh, are we done now? Because the, the combat music still still keeps going. There's another level to this. I kind of missed that. Maybe there's a bed in here. I mean, it can't be owned anymore. I pretty much killed everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, I think I know what the problem is. These weren't scavengers. These were vampires. Because they apparently didn't need to sleep. They don't have beds. They have, like, literally nothing. Not even a single mattress that I can lay my head on. This is... This is bullcrap, isn't it? Makeshift battery. Do they have for, for... for I mean, maybe they have that other thing I need. The, uh... The, uh... I don't know what it's called. I'm kind of losing... A power relay coil. That was it. A power relay cord. Those guys are assholes. They don't even have that. Um, I could take a look around, though. Because there's more where that came from. Oh my god, would you look at this. A double bed. This is... This is awesome. That means I'm going to take a little break. Because, uh, yeah, I really need to sleep. And next time we're going to just finish up the uh, USS Constitution quest. I, don't, I mean, I think I'm going to finish it up. I don't know how much work this is. There's multiple Nuka-Cola Quantums over there, aren't there? That is... Yep, there's definitely another Nuka-Cola Quantum. I need that because I spent one. But, uh, yeah, on this uh, lovely house with a nice view on the USS Constitution... I'm just going to take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of us doing a little bit of exploring. Doing some uh, organic world building. And I can't exit my armor here. But thank you guys enormously for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of Fallout 4 Survival. See you later, Captain Ironsides. Goodbye.